Hurricane Harvey's damaging effects are now hitting our wallet at the gas station. The storm has affected 12 refineries along the Gulf Coast, a region essential to keeping the country moving. And in turn, gas prices are surging. It's been a couple of dollars spent that I probably would have otherwise liked to spend somewhere else. At the 14th Street BP in Hoboken, drivers are experiencing a drastic overnight increase. Yesterday, price uh, regular, our price that two. Uh, 25, now 245. It's gone up 20 cents in one day? Yes. That trend may continue upward based on the timeline for recovery in Texas. John Hoffmeister, the former president of Shell Oil. Best case, the refinery should be up and operating again for the most part by the middle of September. Worst case, some of those refineries, if they're really seriously damaged, they could be down through Thanksgiving or longer. While many will still hit the road in search of one last summer fun weekend, we caught cooler than average temperature readings on Washington Avenue this morning. I feel like the summer's been over for a couple weeks now because the temperature has dropped considerably. Veronica Glennon is off and will not be deterred, celebrating September 1st with a seasonal spice latte in hand and ready to hit Spring Lake. I'm on my way down the shore. Have to have a pumpkin spice latte before I go. So, so you're doing a little fall and a little summer. Exactly. You got to balance it out. Labor Day weekend. Now, when it all comes down to your mentality, there are some people that I spoke to who are already buying the pumpkin candles and the Halloween candy. Others want to hold on to every last second of summer. And I have to say, fall doesn't officially start until September 21st. So we have a little bit more time if you are getting out there this weekend. Try and leave now. Looks pretty good out here, guys. We're live in Jersey City. Magdalena Doris, CBS 2 News.